going to be talking about initialized signs. Um, I don't think I've discussed this before, and I don't want to say it's a controversial topic, but sometimes it gets a little bit of a heated debate. Um, but still, I'm going to discuss it because a lot of times in my ASL Word of the Weeks, um, I teach different signs, and some of them are initialized and some of them are not. And I just wanted to explain the difference. So, initialize signing means you take the first letter of the word and you use that in the sign instead of using the original root sign. So, for example, I'm going to give you a word, um, actually two different words that are initialized, and then what their root sign is and what some people believe, um, say, that the correct sign is. So the two words I'm going to tell you are team and group. So the word for the initialized sign for the initialized sign for team is with T's. Team. And the initialized sign for group is with G's. Group. Now, both of them are a similar idea. They're a group of people or a mass of people together but they have a different connotation sometimes and so people initialize them because they want to follow the English word. Now if we were to sign them in ASL, um, like proper pure ASL, we would just sign them as group. And again, this is the same kind of as class but it's not necessarily a C, it's just making a group. So this would be team, group, um, any other team, group, I can't think of another word, but something similar to that but you would sign it like this because this is not using the C, it's just the sign, whereas T and G are using the initial, the first letter of that word. Now, most of the time, I believe the initialized signs actually came from when people were trying to teach like C, signing exact English, so they literally wanted a specific sign for team, they wanted a specific sign for group, um, they wanted a specific sign for parents, because parents you can sign a mother, father, or a father, mother. I usually end up flipping mine over, but a lot of people sign parents with a P. Parents, which is signing exact English. Now, um, C signs and ASL signs have kind of all come together and come up with PSE, Pigeon Sign English, and that's actually very, very common nowadays. It's actually pretty rare to work with people who are pure ASL or pure um, SEEC. So that's why a lot of times um, people use initialized signs within ASL, even if it's not pure ASL. So um, again, it's really up to you and your comfort level of what you want to use. If you want to use initialized signs, you know, no one's going to, you know, wrap you on the hand because, you know, you're using initialized signs. But you know, I mean, it's kind of a debate. Should we use them? Should we not use them? Many people do. Many people are against it. So I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm not going to tell you that you can or you can't use initialized signs. I'm probably still going to teach some of them um, in my ASL WOWs. If I do teach an initialized sign, I always try and teach the root sign of it as well, just because I see it both ways and I want you to know both ways because, like I said, not everybody is pure ASL. Most people aren't. So you're gonna see the initialized signs and you should know them. And especially if you become an interpreter and you work with a consumer who uses C or who uses PSE and they like the initialized signs, you need to match them. So if they're using team and group and parents, you should probably try and match what they are because that's what they understand, even if it's not what you feel is right. So, um, short and simple up to you guys, but I just wanted to give a little explanation of what the initialized signs are that I've spoken about um, in my last ASL WOW and I will be talking about in this coming up ASL WOW. Um, yeah, so if you guys know anything about initialized signs, if you have an opinion either way, go ahead and leave those as comments below. I'd love to hear what you say. Um, if you're an interpreter, what do you see more often? Do you see more initialized signs? Do you not? you feel comfortable using them I'd really love to have you know a constructive uh, conversation below in the comments if you guys want to do that um, yes I will have two other videos over here some of my most recent videos talking about certification CEUs um, lots of different things so definitely check those out as well as my other videos and if you're not already go ahead and hit the subscribe button up there or if you can't go down to the down bar and click the link 
so you can keep getting videos. I would love to hear from you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.